Now for this evening's news. Washington. President Roosevelt was quoted today as being profoundly disturbed by the developments in the political situation in Germany since the rise to power of the National Socialist Party. Last Saturday, a crowd of 100,000 gathered to hear a speech by the head of the party and Germany's chancellor, Adolf Hitler. Hitler called for the establishment of a nation grander than the present one and the foundation of a thousand-year Reich. The chancellor's declarations were received with a standing ovation. Well known to our government that for some time Germany has been carrying out a massive rearmament program, one that requires enormous backing and funding. Where Germany is finding the money for her gigantic military expenditures is a mystery that has still to be solved. The following is a message to the people of America from President Roosevelt. The president hopes that peace and serenity are reigning in every house in this nation. Unfortunately, news is coming from Germany that calls for extreme vigilance on the part of any man who loves freedom and democracy. The Nazi regime, led by Adolf Hitler, is investing immense sums of money in a military rearmament program that is so vast in its scope that it can only be taken as a prelude to war or invasion. Halt die Klappe, du Armleuchter. Professor Smith, I've been reading a lot about the research that that Englishman, what's his name, Fleming, is carrying out. What do you think of it? Oh, you mean penicillin? I can only tell you that we're working along the same lines, but Fleming is farther ahead. Is it true what they say, that it's really nothing more than a kind of mold, and it's going to be able to cure a large number of infective diseases? Yes, it seems to contain certain natural antibodies, which they'll use against uh, germs of various kinds and in a broad spectrum. Now, in actual fact, this drug should already be on the market. But the government simply doesn't allow us the funds we need. You are? We had an appointment about... about one hour ago. Oh, that's right, that's right. You were introduced to me through a letter from uh, Professor Franklin of Princeton University. I have it here somewhere. Uh, don't bother, Professor. The letters are fake. A fake? From beginning to end. It's a nice piece of work, though, isn't it? Who are you, a reporter or something? Oh, no. Absolutely not. I'm very sorry that I was forced to resort to this unseemly method of introduction. But I was in a hurry, and I had to reach the famous Professor Thomas Smith. By the way, is it true you're in line for the Nobel Prize for medicine next year? I have no intention of giving an interview. I must ask you to leave. First, I must tell you a story. I think you love hearing it. Yeah, well, you can tell it to the police. The story is set in Africa. Right in the heart of Africa. In 1917, Professor. It was 1917, wasn't it? I think sometime in July, certain men braved the expanse of Africa. white men. They called themselves explorers. There were seven of them, all officers of the Wehrmacht, all following the traces of a treasure that local legends called the Secret of Africa. ein bisschen aufholen, später.
The local tribe attacked them. It was a massacre, but there was one survivor, a Lieutenant Schmidt. He later went to America, changed his name to Smith, and became a professor of biological medicine. He is an incorrigible idealist, convinced that certain riches must not fall into the hands of totalitarian governments. So he has decided to tell no one the secret of the greatest treasure trove in history. Amsterdam has been flooded by diamonds. And you know where those stones come from. That's because you know where the entire dangerous knowledge, Herr Professor. I don't understand. Are you threatening me? Think about this and be careful. Since I found you, others will find you too. And they will not stop at a mere friendly conversation. Should I just vanish before you sell me to these other people? I work for an organization. They can get anything it wants out of the most dedicated idealist in the world. Or make certain that the man doesn't tell anyone his secrets. Get out. All right, I'm getting out. But you have 24 hours. I'm not going to change my mind. Now get out. Auf Wiedersehen, Herr Professor. Hello? This is Smith. For Dr. Barkley, please. Yes, Professor. Dr. Barkley's here. I'll call him. Just hold on. Dr. Barkley? Dr. Barkley, it's Professor Smith on the phone. He wants to talk to you. Thanks. Hey, yeah, Tom, what can I do for you? I've been looking for you. Can I talk to you? What about? I'm all ears. Africa. You said Africa? I have to see you immediately, Ed. Professor Smith, are you sure you're feeling well? Look, this is no joke and I'm feeling swell. It's urgent. I want you to recover something from me. An object. I don't even know if it still exists. I'll explain later, Ed. There are certain characters who would stop at nothing to get it, including murder. Scared? No. Nope. Not even of going to Africa? No, I tell you, Tom, not me. Well, you damn well ought to be. I could even leave today. You mean that? I can give my course to Mike Farlow. It won't be for more than two or three weeks, will it? It may take even longer than that. When do I hear the details? Just get over here immediately. I'm convinced my life is in danger. I know what I'm talking about, Ed. Okay, good. I'll be waiting for you. Excuse me, sir, do you have a wrench? Of course. I'll help. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Any news, Igor? From Cairo. What did I have to say? An American ship just docked there. On board was a certain Dr. Barclay. Magnificent. So the famous Smith's assistant is on a visit. Professor Smith is now not so much famous as he is dead. 
He was killed a month ago in San Francisco, an apparently motiveless crime. May he rest in peace. But I'm curious to know why you think the comings and goings of this Dr. Barkley might be of interest to me. According to the reports, the key to the dastardly crime is the word Zetwong. That's what I thought might interest you. Was I wrong, Ralph? No. In a certain sense, you could say it interests me strongly. What does the word mean, anyway, Zetwong? Igor, how does the idea of a trip to Kenya strike you? Would I be going alone? No. You'd have me for company. I'll go pack right now. Come in. Uh, just put it down there. Thank you. Yes, sir. Would that be all set, huh? Oh. in Mombasa, just when the diamonds flood the market at Amsterdam. The field is quite large. There are riches in it to be won. By a curious coincidence, your gracious highness, Professor Smith and Mr. Erdos, who worked for and against an American in the counterintelligence, were both murdered after their meeting. Hmm. And another coincidence is that this Barclay has found his way here to Mombasa. That is exactly right, our great prince. Oh, I can't wait to meet this new professor. I'm sure his mentor, Smith, has told him, may the Almighty give him his paradise, has told him about the secret of Africa. And if so, he must reveal it to us. Of course, oh. our wisest of the wise. We must hasten to make arrangements to receive him and give him the absolute protection of my house. <laughs> we certainly shall. Hmm. All great master tiling, hmm. boast of the human race. Zetwang, yes, I know that name. Zetwang is not a place. It was a tribe. 200 kilometers from here, to the north. They were one of the smaller tribes. Uncivilized, but gentle. Inoffensive, hospitable. They were? About 10 years ago, they were all killed by the Gundors. The leopard men. They were killed? All of them? Exterminated. The Gundors are thorough. They never do anything by halves. In that case, I've come 10,000 miles for nothing. You were trying to carry out a mission, the last one Professor Smith assigned you. You've done your best and you've honored his memory. I would rather have found out who killed him and why. I thought that this, this last message of his would give me the answer. And it didn't. I'm sorry, but the Zetwang no longer exists.
here. Taste. Your guest or prince of heart wrenching beauty. Shall we open? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Open. Randry? Where is he? Where? Deficients, bastards, masses, Ouch. Ouch! You were maybe looking for me. It was a little tight around the chest, so I found another one. You have a curious way of issuing invitations. <laughs> Usually we are less considerate. Take a load off, sweetheart. Thanks. What can I do for you? <sighs> Give me some information. I'd be delighted. About what? What uh, Professor Smith revealed to you before the Almighty called him to his bosom. With the aid of a bullet. <clears throat> The professor didn't tell me anything at all. Oh, Dr. Barclay, really? You are fooling around. Nuts to you. I'm to believe you came all the way out here without clues, without information, without knowing anything. I guess it seems strange, but it's true. In that case, just exactly what are you doing in these parts? Hmm? I want to find out who killed Professor Smith. Uh, I realize that Professor Smith's that pains you very much. But the pain of the spirit is nothing compared to the pain of the body. Are you saying that you intend torturing me? <laughs> Torture? What a terrible word. Isn't it, Tim? Extremely terrible, oh radiant, my prince. And exciting. So, Professor, or Doctor, are you ready to tell me where they are? Where what are? <laughs> the diamonds. Where are the diamonds? So that's what it's all about. Diamonds. I'm sorry, really. First time I've heard the word. Ah, you are a very good actor, Professor. Or is it doctor? Huh? And since I admire art, the two of us should get on famously. Eh? The two of us, huh? You tell me where they are, and I make you my partner. We divide the booty half and half. What do you think? Hmm? I think that's an interesting offer. But I'm afraid I don't know anything about these diamonds. All right, Professor. Number 12. Cordy. As you are being obstinate, I'd like to show you something that'll perhaps help you change your mind and cooperate. Why do you want to kill the American, Ralph? Obviously, he's more used alive, but not in Tai Ling's hands. And who's behind Tai Ling in this case? It's just a contract. Maybe he doesn't know who he's working for. Maybe for France, maybe for Stalin. Or maybe for some rich bastard who's doing it for kicks. Allow me to introduce you to a friend, an estimable young gentleman, but unfortunately, for him, obstinate to a degree. He persists in not telling me something that I am very eager to know. It's a pity. He has many endearing qualities. Only, as you see, he is ignorant of the shibboleths of civilized behavior. And that's not easy to say with my ass. Doctor, or professor, as it were, the show won't last for long. So I'm not afraid of your being bored. A certain number of the slicket, cow, and tiberous little animals will suffer the consequences of being enclosed in the man's stomach, will die of suffocation, and go to their rooms. But the others will eat his stomach out. It is really much better, to be frank. And you are planning on giving me the same treatment? <laughs> that depends on you. 50 percent's a hell of a lot. But, um, it's better that we talk after our lunch. What are my orders? The American's inside. You get him out somehow. Or kill him. Who is he? A professional. 
I hope you like it, Doctor. Ass salad. Oh. To be perfectly honest, I've never been mad about Chinese food. Well, perhaps in that case, you would prefer a little of this. We have the best cobra manga in town. You wouldn't have a nice blintz. If you're through being bitty, would you mind letting me know what you've decided? Simply to go back to my hotel and have a long sleep. Oh, you disappoint me, Professor. And you're beginning to bother me, Your Magnificent Highness. You'll find out I wasn't joking. That must be why I'm not laughing. Hmm. The only fault in this method is you die at once. You should never be in too much of a hurry. Away. Let him meditate in peace. Hey, you forgot your cobra. Down, boy. Take it easy. Glad to see you. Oh, thanks. Hey, watch out for the snake. What snake? Come with me, my friend. Somehow you've convinced me. Good. What did his celestial magnificence want to know? What story did you tell him? What story was I supposed to tell him? I don't know anything about this whole situation. I wouldn't tell him even that. But you know could throw light on the secret of Africa. Tai Ling was about to torture you for that information. And now you're going to do the torture, huh? Why should I? You lead me to the secret, and when you discover it, I'll be there to get my share. Or I'll just have you start me off in the right direction, and I'll find it myself. Right? Right? Go ahead and sleep, my friend. You'll need your strength. Well, you have changed your mind. As long as I'm here, I thought I'd take a look at the Zetwang territory. Just a look. I believe I can help you in that case. Have you ever heard talk of a certain Lord Ben Kilbrook? Explorer, archaeologist, God knows what else. He has an expedition starting north tomorrow. Although, of course, they won't be going right into the Zetwang territory. I don't think anyone in his right mind should. They'll get closish. Why don't you go along with them? They'll show you where to go when you get to that area. It'll mean that you'll have a chance. Oh. What's happening? Is it an earthquake? Well, I suppose you could say so, of a sort, anyway. Elephants. Don't touch. That's it. I knew I could get him to touch it. What a lot of mosquitoes. Yeah. What are you reading? 
Physics of the Atom. Rather heavy reading for a lazy day by the lake. I'm catching up on my homework these days. Well, I must say that's not my idea of a holiday. What's that? A souvenir of the years I spent as a stevedore putting myself through school. I always have it. It's also kind of a good luck charm for me. I thought it was a weapon. Well, I never thought of it in that light. You should, since you don't seem to have any kind of gun or pistol. I wouldn't even be able to use them. I don't like guns. They scare me. But they're necessary, you know, especially here. Well, just be glad there are men on this trek who do know how to use them. Strange. What's strange? He's been following us for hours and hours. Who? That pygmy. He's no pygmy. He's a baby, that's all, a little kid. He's a pygmy. He's a baby and a hungry one. Are you a professor of child psychology, too? I don't know anything about children. But I've been hungry. And I recognize hunger in others. Huh? Our childhood, I suppose. Bad green. A good stroke of golf divides the civilized man from the savage. Shit. Disappointment in love. Is that why you're here? What are you talking about? What could be the reason that I'd send a lovely girl like you into the heart of Africa? A man, what else? You are very impertinent and ill-mannered. A real American. Ed Barclay and the Dutchman are partners. The Dutchman saves the American. Then, the American goes off on the British expedition to the interior. Mm. What do you think? What I would like to know, although this flower of the piercing intellect, is what is the point of letting the American go on living? Uh, no point at all. I desire that the American be eradicated. It shall be done, O oh, Garden of Jane. The interloper will be dead in a few hours. Have you the right man for the job? Oh, fount of ceaseless wisdom, I have a Nubian prince called Hassan. Nobody has ever been in his clutches and lived to tell the tale. You always shave at night, Lord Kilbert? Best way to avoid seeing what a fearful mess I make of the job, what? I see. Good night, Eva. Bad you're off. By their speech shall ye know them. A real lady.
Quick, help! There he goes! Stop there, you blackout! Ed! Ed! You stupid fool! What do you think you're playing at? I'm not joking. They were trying to kill me. Oh! Who wants to kill you? The Chinese gentleman. What do you mean? What are you talking about? It's a very complicated story. For heaven's sake, why do they want to kill you? Don't worry. The boy following us, he told me. He saw the killer. Eucalyptus tea. Excellent for clearing the mind. My mind is clear enough without drinking tea. The aide to the British governor has swindled us. He is a member of the intelligence service, and he put Ed Barclay into Lord Kilbrook's expedition. As soon as he finds out something, the intelligence service will get their dirty paws on it. Professor Barclay won't find anything. For the simple reason that Professor Barclay is dead. Dead? How do you know about it? I ordered him so. I got him, and he then told... Uh, 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 who is it? Hassan, uh. or master of the clouds and rain. Uh. A Nubian prince, mightily muscled. The Nubian has killed the American. Huh. That's what you think. I wouldn't be surprised if the other way around. And Barclay broke the back of your precious prince Nubian. You know how he worked his way through college? As a stevedore, unloading ships. Ah, so. Professor Dr. Barclay is alive and controlled by the British Intelligence Service. That could be a disaster for us. I think the two of us should join forces to uh, take on our common enemy, yes? Yes. I see the eucalyptus tree is working. We'd better move on right now and find out what this Barclay is up to, assuming that he is alive. He will take my place. Thank you, O oh flower of pearl. You are a great and generous master. This is Tanya, a finer tracker than any bloodhound. A prime weapon in your arsenal.
sa bunduki yung bili na potea nam na gani. Bila bunduki, sisitakupa ako. Wato na kwenda wapi ili porini, nam na iyo mbaya kabisa. Sisitapanya nini. Wato tatu na kwenda. Bila ili bunduki, sisitapanya nini. Sisitakupa hapa. You don't mean to say all six of them. I can't believe it. What's happening? Six bearers ran away last night. We'll have to leave part of the baggage. Why did they run away? They were afraid, I think. We're in the Gunda area. Leopard Man territory. They don't want to cross it. Thank you. Is that all? Yes, that's the last of it. They've taken two of the guns. So we'll have to revise our plans. Either turn back or take the long way round. We'll only take what's necessary. Too late. Too late? But it's barely six o'clock. Oh. It's still too late. also known as the tribe of or leopard men are attacking villages stop this has been fully confirmed it would be wise to watch for lord kilbrook expedition now nearing gunda territory gundas leopard men it's a bit much eh? it's all bullshit you don't believe that you know they really could be in trouble Forget them. Forget them. The Gundas are nothing but drunkards. Worthless. They're not able to kill anyone. You're pretty sure. They haven't shot an arrow in 50 years. There's no need to worry. My God. Gundas. Somebody must have borrowed one of their arrows. Silly bugger, come on! Kilbrick? Rangers, I suppose. Always right on time. Do you have a light? Of course, my lord. They've taken Eva, my daughter, and the American who is traveling with us. The bearers have fled. We were unable to defend ourselves. How many were there? Oh, oh, oh. About a hundred. A hundred? Without guns, thank God. But, damn it, we've got to get my daughter back. Where are you going, sir? Didn't you hear me? To find my daughter. Alone? Don't you want us to go with you? This is a personal matter. Good day, gentlemen. Let him go. He'll find out how dangerous it is. Oh, bollocks.
our honor, I guess. Dr. Barclay. Yes, my lady. Promise me, please. Make me a promise. Sure. What do you want? That you shoot me before they... Before they... Come on. How on earth can I shoot you? I'm kind of tied up here. Raise your hook to get yourself free. And then kill me. Well, the best plan is to get away. But there's a man on guard outside. Maybe he's gone. Chuma! Uh, Chuma! Uh, yeah, Chuma! I understand. Chuma! Okay. First of all, take the hook out of my belt, Eva. How? Uh, will you be offended when I advise you to try with your teeth? Like we got here after closing hours. <gasps> By the way, what's the purpose of your father's expedition? Oh, it's simple. Uh, to photograph the eclipse of the sun. This is the best place to see it, East Africa. Uh, an eclipse of the sun? A total eclipse. It wouldn't be visible in England, so so the government is paying for this expedition. What are they saying? They want to come in, but they can't. Thank God. This is the witch doctor's hut. It's a holy place. At least in here we're safe. Nice to hear good news for a change. more than friends. And if you don't calm down, you'll get a bullet in your face. The cake is large enough for all of us. That's why we formed a business relationship. A business relationship for one deal only. And in order to bring it off, we need the American. Where is he? Is he still alive?
this looks like. It is. It's Tom Smith's handwriting. Tom Smith? Who is this Tom Smith? Thomas Smith was my professor in the States. But he was more than that. He was a friend, and they killed him. But before he died, he left a name. As a clue, a message. Zet Wang. That's the clue the professor left behind. It's not much. Right. But now, my lady, I'd be grateful to know what your father is really doing around here. I already told you. They want to get pictures of the eclipse. The eclipse. You're fooling around. The next eclipse in East Africa won't take place for another 34 years. Don't you think you're a little bit early for that? Your father's working for the intelligence service, isn't he? And he's a very good friend of the British governor in Mombasa. Ed, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to go on lying to you, but... Don't worry. I've got much bigger problems to solve. My God, what a dream. Was it a nightmare? Worse than that. I dreamt about having lunch at the Savoy. <laughs> Roast beef, potatoes, and a pound of cake. Hungry, huh? What do you think? If I lose some weight, I'd feel the whole starvation diet was worth it. Don't lose too much, though. You'd like lunch at the Savoy? We gotta get there. So don't go getting all skinny and funny on me. You know what I think? We've got to get out of here. Get out? But how? It would take a miracle. Do you believe in miracles? Depends on who does them. <laughs> Potatoes and a piece of cake. The only thing missing is my pastrami on rye. This lunch will keep you in shape.
you're not eating? Hmm. I'm not hungry anymore. and the girl have both gotten away. The whole village destroyed for nothing. Is that whiskey helping you think? I just took a sip. This Africa looks all the same. Maybe we're lost. Can we get a map? I guess so, sorta. Why are they looking for you? Next time I see them, I'll ask if I don't forget. Do you have the time? I don't have a watch. Then what's ticking? Get out of here! What's the matter with you? Breathe deeply, shut up, and move your fanny. Get down! feeling we'll be on foot the rest of the way. Could I ask a favor of you, Professor? Uh, anything you like. Just don't ask for another miracle. I've had enough of miracles. What can I do for you? Just, would you mind getting off me? Uh, oh, sure, sure. <laughs> Sorry. Let's go. Come on. Where are we going? The map says to go northeast. And is this northeast? Uh, who knows? Time to stop. I can't run anymore. Anyway, they stop chasing me. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Come on. I say yes, yes, yes to you, I'll seem a half-wit. You're asking me to do some research on a topic I don't know, without even giving me the background. Well, if I give you the details, you know more about it. And all that'd do would be to crowd your mind with a lot of prejudices. For this research, you need a clear mind. You must approach all subjects as though you'd never heard of them before. Oh, come on, Tom. You mean like just sitting down and writing a thesis on the man in the moon? Huh? Yeah. Or Africa. Not knowing if the sun or snow. Of course, they're both. You can even freeze to death. The desert at night. Then there are the elephants. Did you say the elephants? Yes, the elephants. You go to the savannah with a gun. Prepared to kill the elephants when they attack. But you'll probably end up taking the elephant side. This is all getting too metaphysical. Yeah. You'll find that you're on the elephant side. 
I'll find it. Yes. I'll find it. Yes. Is it there? Ed! Please, Ed! <laughs> Feeling better? Where are we? In heaven? <laughs> Almost. You were delirious. Hmm. Uh, did I uh, uh, say anything, Eva? Don't worry, not a word. Good morning, my children. Good morning, Father. Would you like to eat something? Yes, thanks. The tribe of the Zetwangs, they died out mysteriously, at least 15 years ago. To get to their territory, you have to go as far as the foothills of Kilimanjaro, where no one has ever ventured before. Except for a group of German boys. Remember, in 1917, I'm sure it was then, you took a picture of them. I'll show you. It's been hanging on this wall for years. What pushes you, the two of you, to go into the Zetwang lands? A promise that I made, Father. Here's the picture. I wonder who the other one is. What's the matter? Do you know those men in the photo? This picture has made me understand something very clearly. What's that? But I don't understand anything anymore. Oh, dear. Come here. The girl certainly has to wait a long time for an invitation around here. Mm. <laughs> Just as good as new, isn't it? Ah! 
Let's get out of here. Professor Smith's secret will be told by Kilimanjaro. Are you sure, Ed? No, but we don't have any other possibilities. speak our language. Your woman is in our hands, and as long as you do as I tell you, we will not hurt a hair in her head. We are a strong race, but no men have been born in our tribe for the last 70 years. Obviously, we are a race which is dying out. So you understand the situation we're faced with now? I understand. It's a problem of births, isn't it? Without men, it's difficult to have children. No fecundation, I mean. That's why you... Huh? Me? Why? Does it seem such a terrible destiny? Well, no. But I'm not qualified. Could I at least see my girl? You don't trust me? Oh, it's not that. It's just... If I say you may see her, it will only be on one condition. Well, if you put it that way, I guess I can't refuse, can I? All right, go. You may see her. But afterward... Eva, here I am. How are you doing in there? Are they treating you all right? I want to get out. Yeah, don't worry about it. You're not going to be in there for long. Is this place really ruled by an empress who's young and beautiful? Yes, she's nice looking and she's very kind. She sure makes her guests work hard though. Are you serious? We are her prisoners, you know. And I guess her slaves too. So we have to do what she wants. And if you knew what she wants from me is the price of freeing you. What if? Uh, I'd rather not say, but I'll make the sacrifice. Take this and try to get out. Well, back to the queen. Where are we going? Into a cave? No, not a cave, a temple. The temple of our god.
What if someone walks in on us? Silly. No one would dare. Our law says anyone who spies on the Queen should be put to death. Don't you want me? Am I not beautiful enough for you? Perhaps you prefer that pallid child I threw in prison. In that case, she will die immediately. Don't get mad at me, Your Majesty. My young friend is pretty, and I admit I found her attractive at first. But that was before I met you. You're just saying that because you think it's good politics. No, no. I mean it. Really, I do. Cross my heart. Well, your heart's in the right place. How about the rest? Well, well, Lord Kilbrook's daughter. Where you off to, young lady? the initiation. Do you happen to remember an expedition came through here in 1917? Seven men? Seven men? Certainly not. Are you sure you don't remember? I couldn't forget them. If only one of them had ever walked through our lands, he would never have gotten out again. What's that? Oh, do you think there might be other men coming? Oh! What a pleasure to see you again. The pleasure is all yours. And now tell me everything, Doctor. No, I take that back. Not everything, just truth. I know you have found the diamonds. Tell me where they are, and we shall part good friends. Have I made myself clear? You're crazy. Do I look like someone who's got jewels? As you prefer, Professor. Hassan! Take the English girl and do what you like to her. Oh. Stop! If your need is to rape women, well, my girls and I can certainly supply you. Well, well. The Empress and her vassals are being offered to us as volunteers. I hate to act the vehicle of bad news. Only forget it, Highness. <gasps> if I give you my word that I know nothing about her, we are wasting time. Start talking fast. I'll send a bullet through your face. Let's see if the professor will remain silent when we start killing everyone. Everyone? Everyone. And we will start with her. <coughs> we mustn't deprive Hassan of having his immense pleasure with this magnificent power. He would be terribly disappointed. And who knows, so might she. Hassan. Take her. She's yours. I'm sorry. About, about the fertility business. Now what do you plan to do? I wonder if it's really worth it. It's always worth it. I swear. Papa. There, there, my dear, there. 
You look a bit tired, old man. What the devil have you been up to this last little while? It's been a hell of a struggle, I'll tell you. Well, other than that, any discoveries? Nothing. Nothing? On this utterly virgin plateau? Nothing worth the trip. Here. Thanks. You see? Everything turned out for the best. With Her Majesty as well. Eva, you should be grateful I handled her so smoothly. Otherwise, she'd have had you put to death. Was he then? He was an officer in the MI5. And who are you? An inspector in the intelligence service. I don't believe it. Another spy. What are you doing around here? We're looking for a diamond mine. Why did you decide to tell me this now? Because I don't know whom we're dealing with. I think we're finished. This is a secret of Africa, the Third Reich's diamond mine. It's slavery. Yes, and it explains why they killed Professor Smith when you were the diamonds. He was going to tell me. Well, why haven't they killed us yet? I have a feeling he's going to tell us. That's a mine in the photograph. I'll tell you, gentlemen. Now that you've found them, the Third Reich needs these diamonds for its expansion. I suppose you're wondering why we didn't kill you at once. The answer is simple. We need porters. The Z1 are dying out. I thought they died out 15 years ago. For 15 years, they've been working in this mine. That is why they vanished off the face of the earth. Poor professor. He died defending the secret. Herr Schmidt was an idealist. And a traitor. He wanted to give all this wealth to the world. And now there's work to be done. Oh, 
I don't vote for Nazis. Work, eh? Well, you could be useful in another way. <laughs> Ed, help me! Take your hands off her. Well, looks like there are some people who don't find you too skinny. Huh? Ed, what are we going to do? Answer me, what are you looking at? You work well. The Third Reich wants to thank you for your courtesy and effort and collaboration. Now, you all please get ready for another explosion, unless you want to stay here forever. You're Nimsch. seems to split it in two. Get ready for the biggest explosion you've ever heard. Another explosion? What are you talking about? Ever since we got here. I've been watching that fellow. There. He's been hiding sticks of dynamite. Ready for an explosion! All right, everyone back to work! How many explosions? Two, I think. Exactly, as usual. Now, each time he steals one stick of dynamite. Probably been doing it for years. Makes you wonder how many sticks he's got stashed away. I heard them talking. They've all decided to die rather than live like slaves. Not surprised. Wandugu, Kisha siku nyingi za mateso, uru. What's he saying? After the darkness comes the light. Stop this! The bird!
diamonds won't change the course of the history of mankind now. Maybe not mankind's, but I'm sure they will ours. So, that's why you took so long. Sorry I was late. But we saved our skins, the baddies all died, and we've got the money. What more do you want? A final kiss. But this shouldn't happen for 34 years. Who told you that? You. <laughs> what do I know about eclipses? I was just guessing. Come on. Where are we going? Well, where are we going? I don't have the slightest idea. Maybe this time we'll find an emerald mine. <laughs> 